Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back and uh, going to be reviewing uh, a weapon today which is a modded assault rifle but this one has something a little bit different in it uh, and that is the fact that no bullets can come out of this gun at all. It's called the Skimitar and it's made by Empire Scum and this is a rapier overhaul um, and it is in no way uh, overpowered uh, at all. You'd think that uh, you know the rapier is a pretty powerful melee weapon anyway uh, so any changes or improvements will only make it even more overpowered it's not at all it solves a problem a common problem with uh, melee uh, wielding the rapier which is of course that you need to health gate using the grog nozzle quite a lot um, so uh, yeah basically this has got the uh, a healing effect on it uh, of the you know like a grog nozzle uh, every time you do damage dealt but uh, you don't actually need to uh, to use the grog nozzle if you don't really want to but it has also been nerfed in quite a few ways just to balance that out uh, because obviously a rapier with serious health gains would just uh, well it'd be fun don't get me wrong but it would just make it a little bit too overpowered so uh, yeah I'll explain everything that uh, has happened uh, to make this weapon what it is and uh, do a full review of it uh, I would like to apologize for my melee skills as well it's been a long time um, since I used Melee Zero properly and I've never been the expert at it anyway but uh, hey I'm going to give it a damn good shot in this anyway uh, so yeah look at that boom that is roid damage at its finest so as always we'll start off by showing you guys exactly where to get this as always you can just click on the link in the description which will take you straight to it or you can head over to the Borderlands 2 community github and click on Borderlands 2 mods and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on Empire Scum section which is just here uh, and that will take you to the uh, list of available weapons that he has done and we're going to be clicking on the Skimitar which is right there now there's no information just in there but uh, he set his GitHub page up a little bit differently in which he, he's listed everything down in a notes section just here so there you go that is all the information you need to know on the Skimitar uh, and also all of his other mods but uh, as always click on the raw tab on the weapons page and then right click save as and save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder and then enter the game and uh, enable the console command and, and paste it in there just like that and that will change your rapier into the skimitar um, which is just here now this is exactly what it looks like uh, and that is the weapons information page right there and I'll be running through all of the changes like I said earlier but uh, yeah there you go that is uh, that is the uh, the one you want you can use any rapier for this uh, there's no parts locked or anything like that it will all happen in the, uh, the actual console mode now as you can see um, that shaking is me trying to click uh, just to show you guys no bullets will come out of this gun at all you can see it says zero in the ammo um, you can take a grog nozzle with you as well I do recommend some kind of slag i.e. magic missiles or a grog as well uh, just to get the enemies ready to be meleeed but uh, yeah that is all you need to know about that so I'm going to run through the list of changes so we're going to carry on the kills here through some shelf and uh, like I said I'm not the best melee character so I'm going to just try my hardest and uh, hope that the uh, the shield kicks in and gives me some extra roid damage um, so yes the skimitar replaces the rapier now the skimitar deals plus 100 percent melee damage and has a magazine size of zero now this is uh, one of the examples where it has been nerfed a little bit because uh, i believe the rapier is a 200 percent melee damage and that's why uh, i'm struggling to actually chain uh, deception kills uh, with obviously the rapier you can just kill most trash mobs and uh, stay in deception put another holograph out and carry on and you can multiple kill without coming out of deception but unfortunately for me that didn't happen because it's a 100% melee damage not 200% uh, when equipped though it does heal the wielder at the rate of 30% of all the damage done that's why certain things have been nerfed because you now have 30% of all your damage done as actual uh, health so you don't technically need any sort of health gating like the grong nozzle like you normally have to you can just hold this weapon and uh, chuck a few magic missiles out and go around and kill the enemy. Now I probably wasn't the greatest of ideas trying to take Big Bertha down 
<laughs> we have a melee only character, uh, but I will pull something out and uh, try and take her down. Um, I think, yeah, it's an in corrosive interfacer, so just bear with me while we take this big mechanical crap out, because it's annoying me and screwing me. Um, so this gun has been hexed with the Curse of the Porcelain Fist as well, which uh, Curse Weapons obviously came in the Captain Scarlet uh, and the Pirate Booty DLC, and the Curse of the Porcelain Fist is just an extra um, addition to uh, the actual weapon. I believe the Curse of the Porcelain Fist is uh, extra melee damage, but you take extra melee damage um, from enemies as well, so just be aware not to get too close to enemies which is quite hard to do when you're a melee only gun character uh, but yeah that is what that is anyway uh, so the controversial uh, weapon uh, the grog nozzle uh, sorry the grog nozzle is a controversial weapon due to its healing power however melee characters like Krieg and Zero rely upon it to health gate this weapon is meant to alleviate some of the problems introduced by the grog nozzle while allowing heroes that depend upon it to continue with their shtick uh, I like how he's put that there, but uh, yeah, you couldn't have said it any better. Um, with uh, Melee Zero and Melee Krieg, you do need to carry a Grog Nozzle on you no matter what uh, when you play normally, because if not, you're just going to get absolutely downed constantly. So uh, your aim is to normally go in, uh, do a few melees, retreat, and then health gate using the Grog Nozzle on and go back in. This now stops that completely. You do not need that anymore. You can just apply a magic missile like I've just done there, just slag the enemies up and then just use your power of your uh, your skimitar to actually heal yourself while going in for some kills. But like I said, you've got your Curse of the Porcelain Fist um, and also the 100% melee damage instead of 200%. So this has no way made it any like overpoweredness or easier. It just literally means that you can enjoy just having one weapon and not having to switch and hide and fire off the grog and things like that so uh, yeah it might be a bit controversial weapon because uh, some people do like the fact that deception a good deception um, melee zero player can chain those with deception kills and stay in deception for so long um, but with this you can't but then some people might love it because you won't have to uh, help gate too much using the grog nozzle I really hope I've explained that well enough anyway but uh, like I said I'm not the greatest melee zero player but I do uh, you know do understand how it works and how to play it and uh, I actually like the idea of this weapon uh, he also says special thanks to Zububu for the sweet idea as well so uh, that guy obviously gave him the idea to make this and uh, Empire Scum has pulled that off so anyway guys thank you for watching let me know what you think of this uh, down in the comments below but for now thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one